I miss so, karaoke. I found myself. I used to daydream dude, about so like I, I've always done this when I listen to music. I like imagine I'm the lead singer, mm-hmm. and like sure. people yeah. in the crowd are watching me and being like, "Oh my god, he's got such a good voice," and then <laughs> stuff like that. And now I've changed that, and I'm just uh, imagining karaoke. So my <laughs> expectation got so much lower. A bit of a karaoke legend, if the listeners don't know. Casey yeah, the people like, say one of the we're, best. We uh, the best. we used to run a show together that had karaoke after. Oh and my God. I mean, a, a real a real medal of karaoke prowess is that I remember you used to specifically wear shirts you weren't you didn't care about to karaoke yeah. so that you could rip them open on stage. I, yeah, I call them rippers. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have those, but I have rip shirts that I care very much about. That's where I learned the mistake. My friend gave yeah. me a very cool Cactus Jack, great wrestler, Mick Foley. Oh, that's yeah, the Mick Foley. He got us matching. Cactus Jack shirts and we went to a wrestling show and we got so drunk we had karaoke after that I ripped it in half and me I was like oh my god that was a gift <laughs> <laughs> and oh, I no. I kept it secret from him for five years and like two weeks ago it came out and I told him and he was heartbroken oh, he was what so was the hard. song you were doing when you ripped open no the Cactus Jack Thunder Road so probably long. it was, it was probably uh, Thunder Road it was uh, O-Town All or Nothing oh my god <laughs> that's, that's one of the hits that or A Kiss by Prince uh, yeah there's a lot of hits, but um, yeah, he was heartbroken. I had to go and buy him a new wrestling T-shirt to make it up. So, Aww. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I also remember one time was, we, we, we did a duet of sorts at, at karaoke. and There's somebody either filming it for, they said it was a documentary on the Brooklyn karaoke yes! scene. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Whatever happened to that? Uh, they asked us, they're like, would you give us permission to use that footage? And we were both drunk as fuck and both like, yeah, hell yeah, brother. Oh my God. This is like a girl's want. gone wild, but for <laughs> recording karaoke. <laughs> I, I, I remember that it included us alternating crawling through the other one's legs. Oh like, yeah, yeah. And it's yeah, it's it definitely went from like that night. I was like, I can't wait till that comes out to the next day being like, it would oh, be no. okay if that never came yeah. out. <laughs> it would be okay. It would be like girls going wild. We're singing on stage and just cut to us blowing each other on the back of a bus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, would be, that would be awesome. You guys want to do a little more karaoke in the bus? Oh, yeah. All right. we're, we're doing it. Uh, yeah, so I have missed karaoke so much. I've ripped so many shirts. I've just, I've really torn the house down so many times. Yeah. My choice of women, the men intimidated by my presence because <laughs> the beauty of my voice. And then there's other times where I've bombed horrifically. And that's sad. That's when I ripped a shirt too early when I know it's bombing. <laughs> oh, it's oh like God. my escape hatch. I'm like, oh, no. And then it just doesn't go well. Oh, God. There's nothing there worse than bombing at karaoke. I can handle bombing at comedy. Bombing at karaoke sticks in my memory. Yeah. Forever. This is an opportunity for me to finally find something out. So when you rip the shirt at karaoke, what do you do? You walk home shirtless. So some I usually have a button-up shirt that I put on over. I've had friends like Micah Barusi had an extra shirt in his bag. If I haven't planned, I usually uh, depend on the kindness of strangers. A lot of friends <laughs> just have extra shirts. I've realized. And, uh, <laughs> you gotta get some of those. What? You gotta get some of those button-up shirts. You know, like, like the the snaps, so you can I rip know. it and then just button it back up. But the that takes the excitement out. Yeah, that's right? true. It's, it's yeah, the that's true. Excitement is the, it's, my there's short, no stakes. There's yeah. no stakes with snaps. And yeah. it's my yeah. pure strength, ripping the shirt open. Even Hulk Hogan, when he tears a shirt, he cuts a little nick. Yeah, you do neck. it without any pre I, I do full force, full throttle, uh, just ripping cotton, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you had that, is it you that has that bit that's like, um, you're like, I have a face that makes people think they can just say mean stuff yeah, to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it it's me. true. It people cool. say that people say whatever the fuck they want to me. A bar- bartender right before the bars because she said I have a very punchable face, and that's why bartenders are always mean to me. No, you don't think that's there. true. She I was reading so the. Uh, she was reading the Colin Jost. Uh, she had a she had a uh, <laughs> yeah. galley deck of the Colin yeah. Jost biography. Oh my god, yeah. It's, yeah, that's it's a punchable cool. face. Yeah, that, yeah, I don't think I had that. I, I don't think, think you do either. I'm like tall. And uh, people look at me and might think I'm an asshole, but I'm the dumbest uh, guy alive. I do like the idea that like people think they can say whatever they want to you. Like that tracks to me. Like I can yeah. see people just being like, "Oh, this guy's like fun. I can like joke with him." And it's like, I don't, I don't know you. What are you doing? Yeah, I can no, see that. Do people do it all the time. But I don't. I can't see like wanting to punch you. Like that's a separate no. impulse. Yeah. She, I don't know. Bartenders are always mean to me. I yeah. don't know why. Like, she, they always ignore me. She was working some stuff out of her own, maybe. That's uh... <laughs> We were friends. I was, oh, okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I, was were, asking her why we bar- I was asking her why bartenders are so mean to me. Casey, I was at a show one time when a bartender 
was not waiting me for so long that this old man next to me goes, you've been here a long time. What the hell? I was like, yeah. And he goes, hey, get up. This guy's been here forever. And everybody turns to look at me. So it was like the most em- emasculating, nice thing. Anyone's, and then you ordered guy, a Zima. Yeah. 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 I had to scream for the bartender to pay attention to me. The only bar Casey goes to is uh, Coyote Ugly. That's why. Oh, my God. I used it's, to love Coyote Ugly. It's the light. He likes the light dominatrix kind of yeah. treatment from the uh, from the, the, the um, w- bartenders. When Foursquare was a thing, when I was living in Austin, um, my friend Chris, Chris Tellas, he's a comedian. He, uh, very funny, always... Uh, he really wanted to be the mayor of Coyote Ugly on oh, Foursquare. Yeah, so great. anytime we were walking by it, he would make us go in and buy a shot so he could check in. That's great. Uh, Couldn't you just check in from outside? I th- I don't I think you had to like stand there for a while. So it was, it was like ethical, we're going it was an, in. It was an ethical thing. Yeah, right, it was an ethical from, thing. Like, a funny bit to being like genuinely kind okay, of okay, like, man. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> I used to go to Coyote all the time. It's actually like they've got cheap beer, and it wasn't about yeah. like them like whipping old men with belts. I was like, this is the only place I can get a. Four dollar beer in Manhattan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, well, there was the there was the Hogs and Heifers, which is like not. Mm. It's like the same, t- and that that's not there anymore. Now it's like a fucking van store or something. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it was it was in the, it's in the middle of meatpacking. It yeah, did not yeah, have yeah. Oh yeah, it's right across. It's long. right across from where you used to work. Right, it's right across from the Standard. Right, from pretty the much. Standard. Yes. Yeah. My, my famous days as a Standard bus boy. Um, yeah. Beautiful. But yeah, that was like a place where you'd go in and you'd see like guys who like j- got off like a post work dinner in their 50s like waiting to take the train back to like Westchester who were like I want to yeah. get yelled at by somebody real quick sure. before yeah. I go home I've, I've definitely I want to go here get yelled at by somebody so that I can come home late and get yelled at by my wife yes. so you get a double uh, dose if you go to Hogs it's and so Hunters. funny we went to I, sorry, go I, oh go ahead no, uh, I, we, we were at Co- Scott and Green and I were in uh, Denver and we were just killing time the other day, and there was like a coyote. Apparently, it's like a it's like a chain now. So there's yeah, one, one in, in the mall. Austin. There's one in the mall, and we just went in for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and he and he was just like, I, "They're gonna make fun of me. I know it. I hate it." <laughs> oh, and he knew it. He knew it. And we went in. There was like two electrical workers getting drinks. We just sat down immediately. She's like, "Look at this Harry Potter looking motherfucker," and he's like. <laughs> God damn it! He knew somebody, one of the bartenders, was gonna make fun of him. Like, <laughs> that, for for our, our listeners' reference, uh, Scott and Green. How old is he? He's in his like mid late thirties, right? He's like thirty six. He's like thirty six. I thought he, it was. It's a secret. Be, Don't tell people how old he is. He's. Uh, yeah. w- what I'm trying to get across is he is much older than he looks. He looks he like looks a. Great for a, his age. Looks great for his age, yeah. like a teenager. For, he looked great for his age when he was drinking, and then he stopped, and yeah. now he looks fucking phenomenal. Yeah, if he takes it's his glasses. If he, I've I've literally seen he'll post on Instagram without his glasses, and I'm like, who is that? Like who he is looks that so hunk? Different. He's Scott stopped drinking Green. because of me. We had a bet to see who could go the longest. I made it two weeks. He's made it four years. I think. <laughs> 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 so oh, pretty, pretty sure you drink. I did it. Yeah. 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 Scotland Green is is the uh, he was if if I mean probably not all the listeners but the Grant Nevins bit the night that I left all those voicemails on the Grant Nevins which is like this joke bit. I have where it involved me leaving a bunch of voicemails in nightclub voicemail machines at, saying that I left a ruby there I was with Scotland when I did that that was a oh, that's fucking great. yeah. But, uh, yeah, man, loved, he was a I, fun drinker. I loved it. I, I feel it's bad saying it, but I, I, miss him, dr- I miss him drinking very much. <laughs> I can't say that to him, but he was one of my favorite drinkers. Well, I'm glad he's, till... his life seems great. He's his very happy. He, it is like very much improved by him not drinking, but he yeah. was a very fun person to drink yeah. with. Absolutely. He did it perfectly. He had a he lot did. of fun. and then He, 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 he got, got out and out. he left us all wanting more, yeah, which is like... If you're going to quit drinking, like, definitely that's the best way to go out. It's As true. opposed He's, to yeah. everyone being like, thank God yeah. that guy stopped drinking. He was, was the best to go to independent wrestling shows. He screams so much yeah. that, like, it stops the show. And, like, everyone <laughs> starts paying, stops paying. And I thought when you quit drinking, that would stop. But, oh, no. He's still... He just likes the- I usually am not for heckling, but he's so good at it that he, like, stumped <laughs> the wrestlers and make them look stupid. And everyone starts, like, looking at him and Shannon Cramp. Oh the best is when you're, when you're in an indie show and there's like a guy that you you know like the, everyone that's in the ring hates but he's oh, always yeah. at the shows in the front row it's like this oh, guy, God. goddamn guy again I hate this like <laughs> this guy who's CM like 50 kid. <laughs> we fucking all hate we all there hate is like a kid. specific so guy yeah, yeah. that <laughs> It's, there's a guy I'm thinking of at, at Evolve shows like I'm, there's a specific guy I, literally that I'm thinking of yep 
We're, I think we're all yeah. thinking of the same guy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. They fucking <laughs> suck. I hate <laughs> I love wrestling, but then I go to these shows, and I'm like, I'm fucking better than these people. <laughs> I'm, yeah. like, I'm, like, I'm like, I'm the coolest guy in here. 